Okay, today we are evaluating some balances. I had purchased these Fusion Digital Pocket Scales from Amazon for about $15 each. It appears to be a centigram balance with a max of 500 grams, which should do most of our stuff. These are the previous balances. Um, this is one of my milligram balance because I'm testing out some um, data. So this says 50.038. Let's call it 50.04 grams. And put this evaporating dish on this scale and it reads 50.04. Not too shabby. Excuse me, writing down 50.04. So here is some data. The milligram balances, 20 20.029, 20.03, 49.663, 49.65, 50.042, 50.04. Okay. okay, that's just some test data. Uh, we are about to do in Chem 1, the lab of copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate, finding the numbers of water's hydration. You take the blue salt, you heat it up, it has less mass, so you find the X H2O, which turns out to be 5. So we are going to evaluate, I'm going to have, I'm going to have a control group using our good balances. When I say good, it's the old balances we used to use. I have some old um, Flynn O-House balances that we can't buy anymore because they're kind of too expensive for our budget. This is the one I bought, this milligram one right here that I'm shaking at. That was about $100, $100 from Amazon, uh, 15. So yeah, if I can buy seven of these bad boys for one of these and the results are pretty good. Now for Kim 2, I will still probably use this when we do the KHP titration. When, when you measure one gram of something, you need, you need 1.025 grams not just 1.02, you need one more, you need four significant figures, not three, usually for the, for the one to 10 gram range. Okay, so that's, I'm gonna make a video out of this, and this is a comparison of the previous US solid balances, which are milligrams, to the new Fusion digital pocket scales, and I'd heard about these from the uh, chemistry Facebook group, so I will make this video and post it for uh, data.